Hello, incoming freshmen. I'm Keon Shirazi. According to Boostup.org, 14% of high Indiana high school students do not graduate. I'll be a freshman next year in high school, and so will you. So if you want to graduate, unlike the 14%, you need to follow my plan for success. The first thing you need to survive is a good personality and learning style. <coughs> personality is key in school. If you act tweeter like you don't care, your teacher will think you are a bad student, and he slash she will act more harshly towards you. Also, if you are shy and you don't like to talk enough, it can be a problem in high school. Teachers expect all students to participate avidly, and if you don't, your grades may drop rapidly. It is also important to have a flexible personality, so you can adjust to each teacher's expectations. Some teachers like students to be attentive to detail. Others value students who are more interactive. Your personality has a huge effect on your learning style. If you learn best by listening, then you could ask your teachers to take their lectures. If you learn best by reading, then make sure to write good notes. If you learn best by doing, then try to relate what you learn to other, um, other practical subjects to help you remember. Finding out how you learn best is up to you, but to achieve in high school, it is important that you know your preferred learning style. Along with a good per personality and learning style, you also need great study skills and time management. These two things go hand in hand when it comes to success in school. You need good time management to have good study skills. It is better to study in short segments over long periods of time than to study a lot at the last second. So manage your time and leave time for yourself each day to study. Time management also deals with your other activities. Make sure you know what, what times you will be occupied so that your schoolwork can always be done. Now, to get your schoolwork done, you are going to need two things, technology and research. Technology has become a vital source of information. It is key that you have access to computer <coughs> and other sorts of technology. Currently, almost all research for projects are done on a computer. You do not need to own a computer, even though it would be a lot more convenient. You can go to libraries or go to school early to get research done on computers, if you do not already own one. Research is not only done on computers, though. It can be done through books, encyclopedias, or other sources of information. Make sure you don't acknowledge the fact that there are other sources to find information on so that you do not feel you are trapped to strictly the internet. The final thing you need to remember to succeed is that you must have good teamwork in your core academic classes and you must know when to take a leadership role. It isn't always easy to get along in a group project. You have to know when to let someone else take the lead and when to step up. You can't annoy everyone in the group by being too demanding, but you have to make sure everything gets done. You have to give everybody in the group a part, but if they can't do their part, you have to pick up the slack. Your core academic classes are your math classes, history slash social studies classes, science classes, and English classes. These are your main classes, which you must take seriously. You can take normal, accelerated, and even AP versions of these classes. You must know your strengths and weaknesses to know how easy or how hard of a class to take. In these classes, you will most likely have group projects. I know from my sister's experience in high school, party how much work it takes to complete the AP and honors classes, and now you have to be organized and stay on top of studying and taking notes as you go. If you wait until the last minute of study, you just can't get all of that information. For example, in AP World History, if I'm, the amount of information you cover is ridiculous. If you don't take notes and review them all along, you will definitely not make it. Another example is math. Some people don't do math homework if it isn't going to be graded. But that is the key. Doing the math homework is practice <coughs> for tests it needs to be done all along whether it's graded or not. There's so many components to success in high school. If you are missing even one of these, everything else can fall apart. For example, if you have a great personality, but don't have research skills, you won't be able to get the content you need. If you have research skills, but you can't get along in a group, you won't do well on projects. If you know how to function in a group, but you don't get stuff up on time, nothing will work out. If you break down each part of what you need to accomplish and have a plan, high school will be a good experience for you. Not only will you not be the 14% that doesn't graduate, but you will be in the top percent of your class and get to determine the future you want. Good luck to all of us.